hi guys welcome back to my channel i was a little oh. distracted so i decided to do a voiceover instead i'm going to cut this long weave this is a 14 inch weave by the way and i'm going to cut it into a bob and to achieve this the bob look i'm going for i'll need like a few things i need two scrunchies i'll need scissors comb i'll need a curling wand and a clipper but a clipper is optional so stay tuned to start this you want to make sure your hair is straightened and combed properly so that's exactly what I'm doing now I'm combing everything to make sure there are no snags or tangles especially in the back then I'm going to part my hair in two and I'm going to use my scrunchie to pack both sides and um, for, so for this bob, I want it to be like a little past, not past, above my shoulders. So I'm going to cut it to be exactly on my shoulders, then gradually work my way upwards. When you're cutting a bob, you want to leave room for mistakes, just in case you cut it in the wrong way or something like that. So you can easily correct your mistake. When you cut your bob exactly where you want it to be and there is a problem, then there will be no room for correction. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but I'm going to show you anyway, so keep watching. You also want to make sure you tie your hair like really tightly because you don't want your scrunchie moving about. Um, that can cause a real problem because if your scrunchie moves away from where you've placed it, you could either cut your hair too short or cut it too long. So I'm just going to do exactly what I've done on this side to the other side. and. For this bob, I would like it to be a little above my shoulders, so I'm going to be working with my collarbone. I'm going to use my collarbone as a guide. Like I explained earlier, it's always good to leave room for correction because if you cut exactly where you want your bob to be, then there's going to be a problem if you don't cut it properly. There will be no room for corrections or adjustments, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I didn't include a mirror in one of the things you need for this look, but a mirror is sh like it should be number one because you can't just do this without a mirror. If, as you can see from what I'm doing now, I already made a mistake. One is already longer than the other. That's because I, I wasn't working with a mirror, I was working mostly with the viewfinder from the camera. So, you really need a mirror to do this, and I didn't even notice it until it was time for me to edit this video. So guys, take note, a mirror is essential, you must get a mirror and it's best to get a standing mirror to do this. So I don't have any particular way of cutting, I just cut and I like to cut with the band still intact like with the hair so the hair doesn't like spill all, all over the floor. At this point, it dawned on me that I made a mistake because one side looks a lot more even than the other side which is going to be like more work for me. It's really important that you get the cutting at first because it's going to cut your work in two. Right now, I'm just going to put it on my mannequin and I'm going to clean up my mistakes. Now, working with a mannequin is not as easy as it seems because it's actually very tricky. You have to be able to place the wig properly on the mannequin because if it's not properly placed, it will affect the way the wig looks on you when you finally put it on one side might look a little longer than the other so that's just like a quick tip for anyone who wants to try this on her own next i'm going to section out the hair like this exactly the same thing i did to it when it was when i was it was on me i'm going to section into three pieces this time around i'm just basically trying to correct the mistake i made earlier on and if you noticed if you noticed but I kept on struggling with my mannequin that's cause it kept on slanting and that's the reason for the socks that you can see there it kept on slanting you have to also make sure that your mannequin is like upright cause if it keeps slanting it's going to make you assume something else and your cut might not be right so another quick tip if you're trying this for the first time I advise you do the sectioning of your hair on your head so you kind of like get the right angles because 
I've done this, I've done this many times so I already know like where I want to section out right now I'm tying the back part of the hair because of the mistake I made in the beginning I still have a long way to go so I have to tie it up and clean up excess hair after cleaning up the excess hair I'll be working with my comb and my scissors to make make things a lot more smooth and leveled at this point this is where you actually need your truckload of patience and um, from here every other thing is self-explanatory I'm just going to speed up this video so it doesn't get too long I have a very disobedient mannequin it would be nice to really know the kind of mannequin you're working with you always have to pay attention to your mannequin if it's slanting your cut is not going to be right trust me it has happened to me so many times in the past so pay attention to your mannequin if you have to like put it on your hair or get someone to hold the mannequin down because I eventually had to get help to hold my mannequin while I walked so if you must do that then do it with cutting it's very easy to get carried away so you cut a little you try it out because if it goes you have to understand we cut that with cutting once you make a mistake if you've made the mistake and it can be very difficult to correct so I'm almost done with cutting this hair I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what it looks like and I'm just going to try it out right now to be sure I haven't gone past way past my shoulders yeah I'm done and this is what it looks like I went ahead to use my curling iron to curl the ends thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see more of this kind of things leave a comment or leave comments in the comment section below I also have a tutorial on the look I'm wearing in this video if you want to see it I'm going to leave the link in the video or in the comment in the description box below See you in my next video. Until next time, stay safe. Peace, guys.